For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. So I'm giving you guys a bit of a review video on a brand new tent from Easy Camp. So this here is the Easy Camp Moonlight Yurt tent. So they do a, moon, a Moonlight TP tent as well, as not to be sort of confused with one and the other, but they've both called Moonlight for some reason. Um, but essentially you choose between the Moonlight range, whether you want a TP style or more like a yurt kind of traditional dome kind of style. And, and to be fair, it's sort of definitely more space in terms of the yurt rather than the, the actual TP. but we've done a separate review, review video on that as well, you can check out. So the joys of the yurt is very, it's very versatile, it's very multi-purpose, you know, you can use it not only as sort of mainly as like a storage tent or a sleeping tent, um, but it's a great place for using for camps, um, like I said, for sports days, you know, you can kind of really make it what you want it to. It's uh, essentially a kind of a hexagonal kind of design uh, and you've got a single door case there but you've also then got two windows to get plenty of lighting. For me I see this perfect as like multiple different reasons like I said almost like a, a tent just to, to chuck about six people in um, all a bit quite squished you know especially their kids not a problem or like a more like a glorious kind of couples tent where you can have like a bed very central a little bit table either sides you know you can really kind of make it kind of what you want it to really. Many kind of think almost what like the Coleman Notskin was in, in but a more cost-effective way and so it's pack size a lot smaller, a lot lighter uh, and arguably for me a bit more versatile. So initially what you've got is fiberglass poles so you've got uh, a nice sort of all the poles the same length and we've done our own individual sort of packing and pitching video of this very tent. It took me on my sound probably the best part of about 18 minutes to pitch on my own but admittedly probably you get it down to around about 14 or 15 if you've got a second pair of hands it makes life an awful lot easier. You've got your nice new features, so you've got fiberglass poles, sorry, they're all the same length, so it doesn't really make a difference of which one goes where, and you've got a kind of a slightly thicker diameter for the verticals as you have for the crossover. You've also got this kind of uh, vent point here, which has got covered up, so you've got an extra almost like a, a clip-on roof vent, uh, and it's basically that's going to be a watertight fixture. Again, big nice mesh window built into the front door as well, uh, as well as you've got this nice crystal clear PVC windows. There's also curtains on the PVC windows to get the privacy as when you want to and also the actual front door itself can kind of be rolled open. There is a, a actual zip point for the mesh point so for any reason you didn't want to have kind of the, the mesh completely open you can just zip it up and have it almost like a complete kind of sealed tent up and again the door itself can roll itself back quite nice and neatly. It's also kind of very kind of festival-esque in the way that you can kind of just pitch it and chuck however many bods in you want it to. Um, you've also got this really nice kind of bunting that comes included with the actual uh, tent as well and you can have, it comes in two bits so you can also have one bit externally and then one bit internally as we have and I'll sort of show you in due course. You've got a sewn in ground sheet built into the actual thing so it feels like a whole, um, well, it's very enclosed, you know, weather can't get in and also the rain and everything can't get in as well. But the dogs can. Um, you've got this lip at the front here, so the ground sheet itself can be sort of zipped up uh, onto the door itself or you lay it flat, so suddenly you peg that down, you haven't got a trip hazard in and out of the tent as well. You've got adjustable points and a really nice little kind of triangle point. And actually in the bottom of this little triangle point, you can store the guy ropes in there as well, so it means that when you're packing it away it makes life a little bit easier. Additional guy points are supplied as well for the kind of the hat and, and kind of those sort of stronger weather, what you can also find is that if you really want, well not strong weather, if you're in those sunnier days or you're going across say to Europe or you want something a bit lighter, by removing the top then suddenly, do that, you've got these big nice mesh vents all located in the top and you've got three, uh, yeah, three in the, all the panels. But then when you wanted to, you can just chuck that away nice and neatly. But I'll tell you, let's bring the camera inside and kind of get more feel for kind of the yurt. So, as you can see, yeah, like I said, the bunting really helps make it a bit nicer. Inside, as we come in here, it's quite homely. Tons of room, as you see, Archie's more than happily in there. Um, but you saw crystal clear windows, so you get great sort of visibility as well. Headroom height-wise is really quite big. I'm about six foot you know, two, and I can stand up happily kind of in the central part as well as the dome. Again, the bunting just helps to kind of lift the color off a little bit to make it a bit nicer. 
you've got these low level ventilation points and then you've got three of those in total. So, uh, sorry, actually one of those um, because you've got three big mesh panels on top. And you've also got things like beneath the windows, these little storage pockets. So the ability to put sort of keys, phones, and that sort of stuff in there. So it means you can maximize your internal ring, and not have to worry about it. You've got uh, hanging points and lanterns as well. So you've got three hanging points. You've got one central, uh, and then you've got two in the corners here as well. So you can kind of pick and choose where your lanterns go. Uh, and again, the bunting itself, you can actually have it up in different points. So on every single kind of ridge point there, there are a little kind of loop points. So again, you can really kind of decorate it inside if you want to, or just potentially suspend a bit of cord from one point to another to kind of create, like I said, this overall kind of hanging point. But overall, I think it's a really nice sort of versatile little bit of kit. Price point wise, it's very competitive now, you know, sort of looking around at that sort of 200 pound price point for a bit, a bit of, you know, the tent like this, which I said, it can be almost multi-purpose. But something a little bit different, like I said, I think for me, I see it personally in those, in either to be sort of a perfect tent for couples, like I said, using a sort of central bed section, uh, or a, a, almost like a dumping ground for how many kids you want to do on scout camp. But for more information on this particular video, what you can also check as well is linked below, take you straight through to our website. So it talks about all of the, uh, all the sort of features built into tents well, as well as things like the specs. So the fact that it's a 70 denier fabric, 3000 mil high steady head as well. And generally, because it's kind of easy camp, you know, tends to be good quality. That's what they're all about. It's making a product that's not necessarily got the high end level of features that you see in kind of their sister brand Outwells kind of collection, but it's got the core things, the simpleness and the, the fact that you've got, you know, easy clips to pop it on and off. You've got additional guide points to give it a bit more stability. Um, you've got a nice sort of webbing strap with ring and pin eyelet systems. So all these little things do add up to make a big difference. And that's kind of what you get with it really. So, but like I said, check the link below, take your freights through our website. We've got the current pricing and all of the spec, as well as pack sizes and pack weights, which also is very important as well, as well as the video we've got on pitching it uh, is also located there. So, but any more questions or information you need, just feel free to uh, let us know. But that's kind of our little video review on the Easy Camp Moonlight Europe.